welcome. Um, I hope it's uh, nice weather where you are right now. Um, let's see. I decided, so the class is a dress, shirt and pants, and I decided to add something at the last minute, which is a high heel shoe. It's like one of my favorite models designed by um, uh, uh, Yamaguchi-san in Japan. And he's published this in his book. It's been in a couple of other books since then. Um, and so I'm gonna show you, well, first, let me show you the high heel shoe. Yay! Is this cool? This really cool dress. It's a one piece dress. It's got a little color change going on at the waist, which is pretty cool. Uh, really nice. This is designed by a Japanese creator and her name is uh, Ayako Kawate. Um, as far as I know, she, that's the only model that she's designed. I don't know much history about her, but this is actually from, uh, there's a, um, a monthly origami magazine that I get and uh, it features lots of cool wearables. And so the dress is what I'm gonna teach. And the shirt and pants are a really cool, um, aren't these great? So the other thing I wanted to show you is, so we have this Tuttle um, tie-dye patterns, which is great. And all of these actually are double-sided. So it's got color on the reverse, which is really nice. And I use the floral, Oh, excuse me, the floral patterns for the dress. And again, it's got this, the really cool color change on the back, but I mean, you know, these are really beautiful, um, you know, patterns. So that is something to look at. And don't, we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first item I'm gonna teach you is the dress. So go ahead and I always suggest uh, using, you know, solid color. I use solid color for teaching. If you're comfortable working with pattern, definitely grab a pattern. It is, a double-sided model so if you you know with the white it actually creates this really cool let's see if you can see that um uh, a nice highlight so go ahead and make your paper selection okay so we want to have one sheet of paper we want to start with the color side face down okay so color side face down let me put mr dress this dress where did my dress go oh, where did dress go here it is. Okay. So we want the color side facing down or the pattern side facing down if you are doing pattern paper. And then we're going to fold it in half into a rectangle. Uh, for this class also, it's helpful to have your creasing tool and some glue stick. Oh, you won't need that necessarily for this, this model, but the, the glue stick for the, the pants and shirt. Okay, now that you have that, you want to open it up, rotate, and let's fold, oh, let me see if I can get a better contrast here. It's always hard to get the white to see, there you go. Okay, so now we're going to fold the outside edges into the center line that you just created. This is called a book fold. I like to call it a cabinet fold or closet fold. So now that we have this, we're going to turn the model over to the other side. So turn the model over so you don't have any seam here, but you do still have that center crease. We're going to take the outside edges and fold it to the center. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat that last sequence real quick. You have your, your single sheet of paper with the color side face down. You're folding it in half to create your center line. You bring the outer flaps to the center to meet that center line. You're turning the whole thing over to the back side and then folding these outside edges to the center. So that's where we're at right now. Give that a good crease. So now, now that you have this, let's turn the model over. So we're turning it over. You have that seam there and you want to fold this in half. So you got a lot of layers down here. So you have to move the paper out and do this. Okay, give that a good crease and then unfold. And then, 
So make sure you're creasing it on this side here where you have the split. Okay. Make sure that that's the side that you're doing this crease on. And then you want to unfold it. So we want to make a nice strong crease there. Okay. Okay. Now we unfold it. So now we're going to turn it back over. So you turn the model over. And on this side, you have these two, the two folded flaps, right? Make sure you've got the two folded flaps here. On this top half here, what you want to do is make a halfway point uh, crease, a, a little pinch fold here. So take this top edge, bring it down to the middle, and just make a little pinch fold on the right hand side here. We just want to mark where that is. We don't need a fold all the way across. So you bring that down to line up with your, your fold here and just make a pinch fold here and then release. So now you have a little fold here, a little pinch here. Here's your middle crease there. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is you're going to take this fold here at the midpoint. It should be a mountain fold, right? It should be going like this. It should be a mountain fold. We're going to grab this edge, the folded edge, and we're going to bring it up to that pinch fold that you just created. So if you watch me, you're going to pinch it in place and then bring it up to meet that pinch fold and use your outside edge to line up and makes it makes it a lot easier to, and then go ahead and fold it. So we're making a, a pleat in the paper. So let's go back to this, this side here where you have, you know, you still have this crease, you have this crease. Let's turn the model over. So now you should be looking at the single layer here, right? What we want to do is take this flap, unfold it, and you want to bring it around to the other side and fold it like that, okay? So we're just going to wrap it around the other way. So again, you're taking this flap, Let's unfold it, turn the model over, and then fold this in here. Okay. Ah, that's a real crucial part of the model. Ah. All right, so now we should be looking at the back side of the paper. And you should still have your mountain fold here. Okay. Okay. So the, you should be looking at the back side of the paper, right? So now we're going to go forward and let's pinch our halfway point here and bring it up to this half, this pinch mark that we created here. Okay. That's much better. I was opening it up and I'm going, wait, something's not right here. Okay. So. So you should be looking at this. You have your pleat here and you've got the back side of the paper showing around. Now we're going to open this up. So now we take this and there are a couple of layers up in here. You just want to take this top layer and you want to bring it out to that from the midpoint here to the outer point. Same for the other flat, just the top layer only. Okay. So So just the top layer, so it should look just like this. And then now we're going to take the bottom, we're going to um, do the same thing for the bottom. So it's going to go from that midpoint to this outer corner. So just peel it open and kind of stretch the paper so it meets its limit here. And then you go ahead and fold. And the same for the other flat, just the top layer. So it should look like this. Oh, and I just made a little tear here, up here. Sometimes that happens if you don't have the paper completely stretched out. So it should look like this. And then now we're going to open up uh, the next layer of the skirt. So you see this layer here? You're actually gonna lift this up and you're gonna stretch that out now too. So you see how this works. So you're gonna grab these, 
and when you pull it out, it'll open up and then the fold will go from the center and, and stop right there like that. Okay. So again, you're taking, you're holding this, these two layers together and then you're just bringing it out and fold this. Now up here, this fold is gonna change. Right now you have these folded down here and these are sticking up, right? Okay, so if you have this, so you should be looking at this and this should be sticking up. It's not laying flat, this part here, okay? What we wanna do is we wanna flatten that. It'll just create a new fold right where it's at. So you just take it and just go ahead and squash it in place. Just flatten that. Same for the other side. Now we're gonna turn the model over. Let's turn the model over. So now you're looking at the back side of the model here. And there's a couple of things that we're gonna be doing on the top half and the bot that affect the bottom half too. Well, we're gonna start shaping the model. And what we wanna do is, let's see, let's start from the top. So on the top here, you'll see that there's, there's one layer and then you see these two here. We just wanna take this top layer here and we wanna bring it down. If you're using six inch paper, oh, I would say it's about a quarter of an inch. And what you wanna do is when you open it here in the middle, then you squash the outside. We're doing squash folds on the outside like this. So this again is the, the sequence. You're gonna peel down from the center. It helps if you do it from the center. Peel it down just a little bit, about a quarter of an inch. Make a little pinch here. Then these outside triangles will squash into place. So just flatten those and squash those in place. So it looks like this. Okay. Now we're gonna go and start shaping the waistline here. So you see these two corners from your pleat, these two here. We wanna bring this in to meet the center line. And when you do that, you want to grasp the entire corner here, both layers. And when, it, when you bring it over, when you bring it over, the, this doesn't lay flat. You see how these, um, these layers will curve around? So we're gonna go ahead and make those into um, uh, uh, squash folds as well. So this is what it looks like. We bring this point over to meet the center, not down here, but kind of a little bit further up. So it's like that. The fold actually will start from under the sleeve here. That's kind of the angle where it should be. And then when you have this point in place, then you're just gonna squash these in place like this. It may be together, it may be separate like mine is, but the, the goal is to make sure that this flap is folded and then this shape starts to continue to make it to the skirt, okay? So you can probably change it to that, so that's a longer, uh, a longer crease. And then the same for the other point. So we're just bringing that over. So it's gonna touch the center. So you have a lot of layers here and then you're squash, making sure that that goes all the way to the bottom of the, the sleeve. And then you're just squashing in place these layers here. So a closer look, <clears throat> you see this one actually goes all the way down here. This one kind of goes all the way down there, but the idea is that you want the profile to kind of be smooth like this. <clears throat> and um, okay, so it should look like this. You've got your two points here and then you've got your pleats down like that. Actually, from this side, why don't we turn it over? I think this is gonna be easier to do. So when you have this, you're just going to fold this in and fold this corner in. 
It's actually an easy way to do that. Okay. And then we're going to bring this back over to this side. So that is actually your finished dress. There's a little difference in um, if you look at the collar. So on this one, you see there's a little back to the dress here. So if you bring these down a little bit more, you know, you'll get that detail. So I'll leave it up to you how you want to style your dress. You know, you might want it to be like this. That's actually a little bit lower than this one. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you kind of style it the way you, way you would like to see it. But isn't that cool? It's a cute little dress. Nice to showcase some nice floral paper like this one. So um, that's cool. Okay, now. all right. Uh, now we want to have the color side face down and we're gonna fold it in half into a triangle. All right, okay, we're gonna unfold. Let's rotate it, fold the other triangle, and then unfold, okay? So now you've got your, oops, this fold, and Okay, so now what we're going to do is take this point here and just bring it to the center. Okay. Just bring that to the center like this. And now we're going to turn it over to the back side. So turn the model over. What we want to do is bring this edge to meet this center line. When you do that, this flap comes out. Okay, so you want to grab the folded edge, lift it up, this point will come out, and then you want to bring that edge to meet that crease like this. Okay, so let that fly out there. And then now we're going to take it and turn it over to the back side. We want to take this edge and we want to fold this up at the limit so that it continues along the edge of the triangle here. When you do that, you want to line up this here with the outside. So this makes a right angle here and then fold. So the fold should be starting from this point here where the triangle is. Bring that flap up. It'll stop right here. There's a layer that just gets folded there. So it's not going to go any further than that. Okay, that'll tell you where it needs to be. And then just make sure this outside is lined up. Okay, and we're going to do the same for the other side. So again, <clears throat> we're taking this part and we're bringing it up. The goal being it's going to end right along this part of the triangle. And this bottom edge lines up with this outside edge. Okay. <clears throat> So it should be a nice clean, this is the front of the shoe. So you want to make sure that this is nice and clean right in here. So now that we have this, we're going to take, and here's the bottom of the shoe here, or the front of the shoe. We're going to take this edge and bring it to meet the center line, kind of like a paper airplane fold. Okay, so you're going to bring that in. So it's going to end at the point. So if you want a nice pointed shoe, make sure that that's a nice accurate point there because we're going to do both sides. So now we're going to take this side and bring that to meet the center. Okay. So now let's turn this over to the other side. And you'll see that there's a little pocket here. Let's rotate the model. And if you watch this before you do it, it'll, it'll help. We're going to fold this whole thing in half lengthwise, but we're not folding the tip of the shoe. So it's these two flaps that join together. So you wanna to bring this together. You can kind of line up the corners here and then start from the outside when you fold. So you line this up, start from the outside and you wanna pinch your way in 
So it goes inside the front of the shoe, okay? But you don't wanna fold this part here. So it looks like this, right? Okay. Looks like that from the top and it looks like this from the side. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so now the next step is we wanna take this layer here and we wanna bring it up between this and this layer. So what I do and what I recommend is, let's see, we're gonna start by, you need to kind of lift this up and grab these two, you know, just kind of hold them together, right? Like that. So pull this up and then get these two layers together and hold it like that. Because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this up to meet this fold line, okay? So if you watch this, then you know what we're doing. We're gonna bring it up and I kind of line it up. You see how I line it up with that fold? And then you go ahead and release this and then go ahead and fold this, fold both layers. And make sure that that's a nice strong crease too, as far in as you can reach. Okay. Okay. So the next step is we need to start narrowing the front of the shoe. Best way to do this is now we want to open it up from the bottom. Let's open it up from the bottom, keep this kind of intact. And what we want to do is fold, uh, let's see, from the back, from here, okay, here's a, here's a fold line here. Okay. So here's your fold line from this new flap that we created. We want to take this outside edge. So orient your model like this, so the tip of the shoe is on the right here. So on the left side here, you see this edge? We want to make a paper airplane fold. Basically, we're taking this edge and we're bringing it to meet that, that fold here. So if you watch that, you want to grasp both layers of paper. And it starts from this outer point here. And it just goes all along that fold, OK? So it looks like that. And then we have to make a second one. So take. Now this new edge, take this new edge and fold that up to meet this fold line like this. Okay. Uh, good idea to use your creasing tool here. And then now we want to repeat that on this other side. So I'm going to rotate my model. I'm going to rotate my model. So now the front of the shoe is to my left and we're going to take this outer edge and bring it to meet that fold line down the center. And then taking that edge and folding it up again. It should look like that. And then what we want to do is bring those layers together, bring everything together so it looks like that. We have two more folds on this, which is really great. So let's go ahead and put the model on, on the table. Now you see this edge here, you have two flaps here take the top flap and this edge is gonna to come to meet this bottom edge here. So it's gonna be like, so this whole edge, so it's gonna end at this point, right? And then that whole side comes down so it looks just like this, right? You have your, your flap. Okay, and then let's turn it over to the other side. So let's turn over the model and now fold that edge down to meet the bottom. 
is our heel. Okay, so we have both sides folded. And then the final step. So as you're looking at your shoe, let's take this, let's make a valley fold down. And if you look at the profile of this shoe, you can kind of figure out this, the heel should be straight up and perpendicular to the line of the bottom of the shoe. Does that make sense? Am I using the correct term? So you want to make that fold so that it looks like this when it's standing, right? So give that a good crease. And then unfold it. And now we're going to open up the layers from the top. And using that crease that you've made, we're just going to reverse the direction so that it creates a mountain fold using that crease that you've created. So we're gonna open the model and this kind of opens up this way. And then you fold it back along that crease that you've made. And that is your, it should look like this on the top and that from the side. So that's, that's all the folding. So at this point, what I do is take your, just kind of the point of the shoe here, I find that you have to, if you push it up just a little bit so that this really kind of comes to a point, this is rounded <clears throat> right in here, but then it should stand real nicely. Cool. All right, so now we're gonna do pants and shirt, okay. So, this model here is actually, you can duplicate this. You can actually duplicate both of these with a dollar bill. Um, we're using a six inch square uh, because I think it's just pretty cool, but you can do this from dollar bill, which is kind of nice. So if you want to try it with a dollar bill, great. Um, the proportion is going to be a little bit different, but the, the folding is still the same, okay? So we're first going to start with the shirt. So go ahead and grab your piece of paper. And I'm using, again, solid color, so it's easy for you to see what I'm doing. And then we're going to do it so that, flip it so that the color side is face down, back side is face up, and let's fold it in half into a rectangle. Okay, now we're gonna, let's open it up and fold your outer edges to the center. Okay, and then now we're going to fold these edges to the center, same side, okay? Okay, so we folded it in once and then twice. We're gonna create the sleeves of the model and it's a simple, again, it's very similar to what we did with the dress. We're gonna create a valley fold that goes from this outer point approximately to about maybe, let's see, that's about a fourth of the way down for the, this. You really don't need to have a measurement here. It's just approximate. So you wanna just peel it open and I'm bringing it down, uh, you know, it's about a fourth of the way down like that. And then go ahead and peel now there's a couple layers, leave that single layer down there. It's just this folded edge that we're folding out. So that's gonna come out and like this, just like what we did for the dress. So that's gonna create the sleeves on the top of the model here. Okay, now let's turn the model over. Let's turn them over. So now we're looking at the back side here. See the sleeves? So here on the bottom, we just want to fold it up a little bit. This is going to be the collar of the model. So it's approximately an eighth of an inch uh, if you're using six inch paper. Give that a good strong crease. Good idea to use your creasing tool.
And now let's turn the model over to the other side. So we're looking at this side now. And we're going to create this call the collar on the bottom. So these two points here are going to come up to meet the center line and create an, a slight angle. So it's going to look like like this. So this is one half of the collar here. Okay. So that's also oh, that's about a fifth of the way down. Okay, so fold both so it looks like this. I'm going to lower my camera here. Okay, so you have those two points there. And so now, here's the fun part. We're done with the, fold. well, actually, we have one more fold left to do. So let's rotate the model. We're still looking at this side here. Here's our collar up here. Here are the sleeves here. Oh, I did I lower that too much? Okay. Okay. So now let's take this bottom edge here, and this is going to tuck underneath the edge of the collar. So watch this. We're going to roll it up. Let's tuck it under the collar like that. And now you fold it. Okay. And there's your shirt. So much fun. If you do this for, with a dollar bill, it's it's great. When we finally get to go out and start dining, you can leave this as part of your tip. That's shirt. And now pants. This couldn't be easier. Take your paper, turn it over to the back side, fold it in half into a rectangle. Fold it in half again into a rectangle. And one more time, one more time. So it's three times. So we have a nice strip here. And then it's a matter of taking the model and folding it in half at an angle. So what I do is I kind of bring these two points together and then just separate it out a little bit and then go ahead and fold it. And that is your super easy pair of pants. <laughs> Isn't it hilarious? <laughs> so you can see if you've got some really fun paper, you know, so here's where, you know, put some glue stick here so the pants don't like pop open like that. And if you want to attach your shirt to that, that's great. Might be helpful to put some glue stick in here so it doesn't pop out from the collar. Uh, but it helps when you have your creasing tool. So yeah, see, if you need to use glue stick, great. Go ahead and do that. <laughs>